Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Let's move on to the origin and development of cloud computing. In today's video, I will introduce a brief history of computing and the cloud computing evolution. Let's take a look at the history of computing. Traditionally, the general software design has a series of discrete introductions. An introduction will be executed one by one on a single CPU, and then each CPU can only process one instruction at one time. If the problem is only serial, the problem is too complicated and the process time will be very long. Solving a large problem by only one single GPU, especially when the computer memory is limited, is unrealistic or impossible at all. Therefore, parallel computing has been developed. In the simple case, parallel computing can solve some of the limitations of serial computing. First, it will break down a large problem into multiple parts that can be solved simultaneously. Each part is transformed into a series of discrete instructions, and then each part hands its own instruction to its own CPU for processing. And each CPU processes the instruction from the different part at the same time. Then, add a unified control machine mechanism to control the entire process. Historically, Parallel computing has considered a high-end computing. For modeling complex scientific computing and the real-world-based engineering problem, business applications are the driving force behind the rapid computer development. That requires complex methods to process large amounts of data. Therefore, the reasons for using parallel computing are as follows. First, it can save time and cost. Secondly, it can solve the problem that cannot be solved by using the serial mechanism. Parallel computing CPU can come from the same computer or from different computers in the same network. Distributed computing is a scientific field of computers that study distributed systems which distribute all their components on the computers belong to different networks. These computers communicate with each other through a unified message mechanism, and the components distributed on different network computers cooperate with each other, and then accomplish a common goal. Distributed computers have the following characteristics compared to another algorithm. First, real resources can be shared. Second, distributed computing can achieve balanced computing alone on multiple computers. Third, it can put program on the computer that is most suitable for running it. Both parallel computing and distributed computing run to guide higher performance and make the big one task into small ones. If it is a processing unit, shared memory can be called parallel computing. Otherwise, it is distributed computing. Of course, some people think that distributed computing is a special case of parallel computing. This is a correct statement. However, distributed tasks are independent of each other. The results of the previous task package are not returned, or it is his result processing is wrong, it does not have any impact on the processing of the next task package. However, the results between parallel parts between parallel calculations are interdependent. Therefore, the real-time requirements of distributed computing are not high and it law for computational errors. Grid computing is a use of a wide range of scattered computing resources to accomplish a common task. It is also a kind of distributed computing.
According to IBM's definition of network, it aggregates the available computing resources on the local network or on internet, making end users or applications feel that they are using a powerful virtual computer. The vision of great computing is to create a virtual dynamic collection of resources that enable individuals or organizations to use these resources in a secure and coherent manner. Network computing, the most common use application in our life, belongs to network computing, which is BT download. Everyone knows BT download. That is, while you are downloading, you are also providing resources to others. Cloud computing is an emerging method of sharing infrastructure, which can connect huge resource pools and provide various IT services. Many factors have driven the needs of such environments, including connected devices and real-time data streams. SOA, adoption and search, open collaboration, and more. Cloud computing is different from other computing. It puts all the jobs in the cloud, and the user only need to connect to the cloud through the internet to complete the whole process of the job. From the initial birth of the cloud computing concept today, the enterprise IT architecture has experienced three milestones in the development phase from the traditional cost architecture to the target cloud architecture. The first is cloud computing 1.0 era. The second is cloud computing 2.0. And the third is cloud computing 3.0. In the cloud computing 1.0, and the connection is on computing visualization, which is to use a visualized cluster to mobilize the software to reuse more its applications on fewer server nodes. Thus, improving resource utilized HCIA cloud computing focused on this stage. And the view introduced how cloud computing is implemented. And the introduced its advantages in the 1.0 era. Everyone found that Although I use visualization, I can improve my hardware visualization, but when users apply for this virtual machine, they still need to go through the traditional approval process. I need to provide the administrator with how much and how many virtual machine I need, and even how much memory, how large the hard disk, and then the administrator Manually create the virtual machine. If a company is big enough, the administrator is very inefficient and time wasted. This is why we entered the 2.0 era of cloud computing. In the 2.0 era, it is aimed at the institutionalization of resource cloudization and the management of infrastructure cloud tenants and the cloud users. At this stage, it is necessary to manually create a virtual machine manually, create a cloud disk, and so on, become automatic at the same time. The specifications of the virtual machine provided are also standardized and customized. If the user does not meet, they can see the virtual specification they need apply the self-service, and then the administrator only need to pass the approval, and the user can use their own virtual machine. In the 3.0 era, cloud computing is concerned with the reconstruction of cloud native and business. The application architecture supported by enterprise is gradually expanding from application layer architecture to distributed stateless architecture, so that enterprise is supporting enterprises. Business agility, intelligence, and resource utilization efficiency has taken a new height and step. In view of the three milestones of cloud computing development, 
and the evolution mentioned above, the cloud computing 1.0 has generally become a past tense, and some industry companies has completed the initial construction of cloud computing 2.0. And they have already considered further expansion of the phase, as well as the evolution towards cloud computing 3.0. Another part of customer is moving from the cloud computing 1.0 era to the 2.0 era. And even the evolution and the implementation of cloud, cloud computing 2.0 and 3.0. From the past several review, I believe you can know the history of internet, the history of computing, and the three eras of cloud computing. And in next section, I will introduce two basic computing models to you to help you to understand cloud computing. And see you in next course. Bye.